Hi there. This is going to be a short video today to give you a chance to see some of the vehicles that your classmates have made. Thank you to all of you who made a vehicle and left them out on the porch for us to pick up. We've got them here at school. We're going to display them in the curiosity cabinet, but I have them here with me so I can show you a little bit about the ones we've got so far and you'll get a chance to see what your friends have been making. This first one here, made by India. Thank you, India. This one, one of the things I like about this one is how well you can see the axles underneath that the wheels are attached to. If you were looking underneath a car, it looks similar. It's not a wooden dowel, obviously, but it is going across all the way, the underneath side of the vehicle. And then we get a chance to see it move. Nice job on that one, India. Thank you. Next here, let's see, Jaffe's. Thank you, Jaffe. This one is a nice, solid, firm box. It's very sturdy. And I kind of like stylistically the way that these black kind of X's or crosses are attaching the wheel part to the axle. And I just think that that looks really neat with the all white box and the white tire wheels and these black X's here. This is very neat looking. I like the, I like the look of it. Thank you, Jeff. Let's see here. This one is made by Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. She did a really neat thing that probably was a little bit tricky. She put rubber bands on the edges of these wheels to give them a nice smooth rolling motion, sort of like a car tire is made of rubber. That was a nice addition, very clever. It's hard to see because of the color, but there's also a nice blue heart on there. Nice decoration. And that looks good. Kind of makes me want an ice cream sandwich right now. Thank you for making that, Daisy. Drive that one over there. Next to me here, I've got this one made by Declan. And he's got these nice little solid rubber wheels attached with paper fasteners. This one, it's very sleek and low to the ground and smaller. It reminds me of the Batmobile from the movies and the TV show. Very sleek, nicely done. Thank you, Declan. Next to me here, I have got this one made by Rai, as you can see, and he did a multi-step wheel process where there is a cork going inside of the box, rubber bands around the cork, and a tape dispenser also on top of that. Nice three-step process for your wheels. I love the stripes. Very nicely decorated. Thank you for that, Rye. Wheel that one over there. Got a few more here to show you. Miles made this one for us. You can see he's put his name on there. Sort of an extra little thing he attached that could be either a, a sticker decal on the car or it could be the license plate. Thank you for Miles. He also added in on his wheel what a rim or a hubcap might sort of look like. That was a nice touch. Got a few more here to show you. This one that Xavier made for us. Let's see. There's your name. Xavier's name on the bottom there. We've got these really nice, cool, shiny CDs for wheels, but also these cardboard fasteners and a paper fastener to help hold those wheels in place. Another neat thing that Xavier made to go along with that is a red, yellow, green stoplight. Very nice touch. Thank you for adding that, Xavier. 
Last but not least, I've got the largest vehicle that we've collected so far. This one, it's a little bit light and not super easy to see, but that says Clementine. And it's sort of cool because it's a customized license plate that says her name. And it's got the mountain drawn on, just like a Washington State license plate typically has. It's got the, the year and the month tabs that you would have to pay for for your car to be legally licensed. That's a very small, subtle touch, but very cool. This looks a lot like what a regular car's Washington license plate would look like. Different states have different pictures, but ours has Mount Rainier for a lot of them. There's also a nice window, shiny window with some sparkly ribbon. And one thing that I have noticed about this is that the wheels roll very, very well. This was a well-moving vehicle. And you've also got the axles underneath that you can see like you could with India's. Great job, everybody. I love to see those. And if anyone is still working on one, that's great. We will always have a space to display it here at school if you get one to us later. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.